Feels so weird. Oh my god. Okay, this is my first time filming in my new apartment, so it feels so weird. It also feels like such a leap from my last video to this one. I feel like I look like a little lad right now. My curtain bangs are not curtain banging. They're not banging. They're unbanging, which is worse. To another video. We're in the new apartment. Don't worry, I'll give you a little apartment tour. Not everything's complete yet. There's still stuff to unpack. There's still maybe some little decorations we could get here and there. Still need a tea kettle. Almost contemplated getting that today. Still might. But for the most part, it's pretty much set up. I didn't film the process of that because it was already so much filming on the road trip. If you haven't seen my last vlog, you should. Or just catch up on the Moving Diary series in general. If you want to see me build some furniture though, I did film some of it on my Instagram. We're just gonna spend a chill at home day with me at the new plates. Today's also kind of an exciting day because I'm filming some little monologues, I guess, for my backstage profile. I also, I've been looking at theaters already here because I think another great way to get into the industry is doing theater, though I want to go into film. I've been applying to jobs since I'm middle of April. Not yet, I was about to say since we moved here, but middle of April, so before I moved here. Haven't heard back yet. There's also been quite a few scams when it comes to jobs. Sorry, mini rant, because it just happened today. I was applying for jobs as I do, and I'm going more part-time, so I have more time to dedicate to theater and film. There is this one puppy place that I applied to, and I was like, oh my god, I love puppies, I love animals. It was being a receptionist, but you also can help take care of the puppies and find them new homes. It, it was, seemed like a really great gig for what it was, and it was part-time, and it was really close to my place. Then I got a call from a number in Florida, which was kind of weird, but like, Maybe that's where their company is based out of. I don't know. They wanted to do a phone interview. I had to take Braden to the airport. So I was like, I think I can do it like around noon if that works. And he was like, sounds great. Just give us a call around noon. And I was like, great. And before I dropped Braden off, I looked at some of the reviews at this place, which I should have done before. All the reviews were disgusting and bad. Like they don't take care of the puppies. They lie about the breeds. It's really understaffed. The puppies only have like one scrap of paper to pee and poop on. There's dried poop on all the puppies because they're too understaffed, they don't get bathed. They're really sketchy, really scammy. One person lived like an hour away from here, but they found this dog on this puppy place website and they were like, oh my gosh, I wanna like come see the puppy. The people were like, of course, come interact with it. And he drove an hour away from where he was to come to the puppy place and then they told him, no, you're not allowed to interact with the puppy, but do you wanna buy it today? Super sketchy stuff, like every single review was consistently bad, and I am not going to support a place that does not take care of their animals, that's fucking disgusting. So, because the reviews were bad, I was not even gonna fuck with it. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling because we're going too long. Let me just give you a little quick apartment tour. Don't mind these bags, we're gonna donate those things. This is Jade editing, clearly I just woke up fuck up and started editing. I wanna rip my arms off. I covered the mic a little bit on the apartment tour, so the audio is, like I couldn't even ignore it. I had to come here and say something about it. So my finger is covering the fucking mic, the little tiny mic, the one little spot the mic is, yeah. I'm covering it. Chop my arms off, just please, just at this point. So this is the front door. Got a cute little dream catcher right here. We got a little welcome sign. We had to have the gear for Braden, Mountain Man. This is the living room slash kitchen. So we got the living room here. Got my cute little bookshelf over there. And then we have the TV and entertainment stand with our little succulents that we got the other day. This is the kitchen. We have a lot of stuff up here, which I don't love, but we don't have any other place to put it. This is our little table right here. Look how cute she is. The bathroom. Look at this mirror. Like, you've got to be fucking joking. Look at how big she is. Ungodly big. She came stained. We can't get all the stains out, which sucks, but... We have the laundry room in there. It's really small, tiny. And then this is the bedroom. We found this painting at Home Goods, and it's my favorite fucking painting I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, tell me why this has to be so cute. Then we have our dresser, everything over there, small TV. We got this plant 
from Ikea. I don't know what kind of plant it is. We didn't look at the receipt and there wasn't a tag. So like if you know what kind of plant this is, please comment down below because I want to know how to take care of it. This is our walk-in closet. It's a little messy up top, but we're not going to pay attention to that. Look at how many clothes Brayden has. Look at mine. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's the little part done. I don't want to do any of this. I don't want to film auditions because I'm nervous and I'm insecure, but we have to. Grab the monologue, I guess. This is a horrible angle. Self-sabotage at its finest. You guys, I have not acted in a fucking year. In a year? And Brayden, he's like, you're gonna do so good. You got my get so far. I'm like, you've never even seen me act. This is my folder of the monologues that I printed out. I forget where I found them. I think I just Googled a bunch. memorized today the libertine by stephen jeffries but leave this guy see i literally forgot my fucking life what am i saying i feel like i'm not doing well this is where i get so insecure i'm nervous i just keep i keep okay i keep forgetting after that is riches but leave this godded gilded stage and what it is gilded with my future earnings it was so good till i fucked up the last bit fuck <laughs> Oh, I'm tired of you. I need to not show this in the thing. Fuck, I forgot. See, fuck me. Just don't actually. It's only for my boyfriend. That. I messed that up so bad. I was so dedicated. I fucked it up so bad. So, little check-in. So far, I'm hating every single take. I feel so unwell. It's literally four o'clock. <laughs> a couple things have happened since I vlogged last. One, I put on these glasses literally just before I started filming because I was like, I think they make me look cute and now I just feel like Harry Potter, which is not a bad thing. If anything, that means I'm like the hottest person on earth. One, I started applying, not applying for jobs. That's not what I want to say. I called a lot of the places that I applied for on Indeed. It's been like a week two weeks which i'm not trying to be that pushy person but i'm like hello it says you're urgently hiring and this is not urgent i called a couple places there was one place oh my god not me throwing shade there was this one place not naming any names girlies they were starting with 12 dollars an hour which is like we need to get paid more this is ridiculous 12 dollars an hour at like this fitness place but you're working the front desk you're also earning money through commission by selling their products and you're also marketing for them on social media and the starting pay is 12 to i think not i think the fuck not also when i first called they were really fucking rude mind you i was like hi is this the sad fitness place and they were like yeah and and then they messaged me to set up an interview and I declined. After doing that, I edited my like little monologue and I put that on my backstage profile and now I'm applying for my first backstage role, I guess. I know I'm probably not gonna get it because <laughs> I literally have like no reel. Like I have no reel that someone could look at that would be like, okay. But what's kind of weird is this Role description. It says girl next door pretty thin and natural and that irks me the wrong way I'm almost like not applying. Why is that such a factor? I would love to know I'm very like when it comes to body types I have a more muscular build and because Over the past year if you've been watching my vlogs I've been bulking and I finally reached my goal weight of 150 overall. I like being more bulky muscular That's just something that works for me, but just saying like girl next door pretty thin natural and then it says to carefully like look at yourself to make sure you appear like the girl next door like make sure you think you could actually like fit the role appearance wise that's the one thing i really hate 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 about the film industry i understand having an image of what you want the character to look like 
I understand that completely. Does it affect the story that much if the person you're casting does not look like the person you had in your head? Does it like truly, like some stories totally make sense. Like I could not play certain roles. Duh. For like simple stuff, does, it, does this make sense? Am I making sense? I don't know. I feel like I'm rambling. We changed into real clothes. Bam! I just spent three hours uploading material, researching talent agencies, reading the reviews that they're all scams. All these things and I'm just feeling, I'm trying not to be like doom and gloom. Every time I turn on the camera, it's just this little rant and realizations I've had, but I feel like I haven't talked to you guys one-on-one -on -one in such a long time. Ever since starting to date Brayden, I've gotten a little codependent as it's normal to in a relationship, duh. And I would rely on him to do like a lot of stuff. <laughs> like cook, couldn't really go out in public because I had too much anxiety, like all these little things. And once I started realizing what I was kind of doing, which was leaning towards codependent because that's my default, I was like, stop, we must change the routine. So I've been cooking more because I'm an adult, I need to learn how to cook, I know that. Going out, doing things by myself to gain the confidence to do so. Yesterday I made like the best meal ever and I want it so bad again tonight, but I don't, I don't have all the ingredients. I don't have my broccoli, I don't have any more basil, like I can't make it. So we're gonna do, I think a mac and cheese night or maybe a ramen night, I don't know. me struggle open the box. If I didn't put the water on the heat, the noodles would be not liquefied. Sometimes I do stuff and I can't physically stop doing them. Like everything you just saw. to get off my fucking phone. We have these three things that I would love to do. At least two. I don't know if I'm gonna do the recipe book, but I have my notebook, my new notebook that I'm going to finish. Since I went to Barnes & Noble a few days ago, I've been good about staying on top of my journaling because writing down my feelings during this process I think is really essential and it makes me feel like I have a therapist, but I don't. I'm finally reading this book, Verity. I'm saying it right, right, Verity? I don't know how else you would pronounce this book. And then my last thing is my recipe book. The recipe I tried last night, loved, is gonna be a fan favorite. And so I only put recipes in this book if I'm like 10 out of 10 would make again. I took a bath, as you saw, and then I just got back in the same comfy clothes I was wearing earlier. I Got Facebook again, FYI, unfortunately. I don't like Facebook or Snapchat. Oh, I have all my social media platforms again besides TikTok, which I refuse to get because it's just not. TikTok to me is like so toxic, I don't even want to discuss it. Snapchat, but I don't have the app on my phone. I never use it, I don't. So if you Snapchat me, I will never see it because I don't, I refuse. <music> supposed to be a short and sweet vlog. I spewed so many different emotions at you that I feel like we need to just 
sit back, process, reflect. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like my other videos, it would mean so much if you go and check them out. I try to be as open and honest about my life as possible, so that's like a consistent theme throughout most of my videos, I hope. If you're feeling flustered or lost or just questioning your purpose, all of these things, you're not alone in that. I feel like that's such a universal experience. Just know that you'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And if you don't figure it out, you'll figure out something new. Just believe in yourself, be there for yourself, and give yourself time and grace to also rest while you're being a girl boss. I'll see you guys soon with a new vlog. Bye.